Hello everyone, welcome to the fourth part of the Doki Doki Let's Play, or it's the third part, I don't remember. Um, so, this time we're going to write the third poem. So, first one we wrote was for Sairi, second one was for Yuri, and now we're going to try to get uh, Yuri again, because Yuri best waifu. And I think the creepy stuff is going to start uh, now, because last time uh, there was uh, the creepy Monica thing, don't forget to save your game. So let's hope it isn't too creepy. And let's try to get Yuri. Okay, we got pure, bouncy, incongruent, agonizing, memories, infallible, fireworks, eternity. Okay, I still remember the words. So it's kinda easy. I think it's the despise. Um anxiety. Promise. Okay, we got the uh, Sayari. Come on, Sayaris, please. Not Sayari. Anything but Sayari. Maybe explode. Contamination. Disown. I just uh, gonna pick uh, the words I don't know the meaning. And Deary will like them. Bliss. Okay, it's Sayari. Um, essence. Maybe time. Um, a tone, vitality, if, okay, aura, grief, okay, it was Sairi, existence, infernal, Holy shit, I got all of them for Yuri, I'm so good. Judgment, okay, we got uh, for sure, it's Yuri. Okay, Monica. Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. Ah! I can't wait for the festival! It's gonna be great! Eh? Weren't you complaining about just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival, but it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a bit like Sairi all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have friend, fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on! Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people! Eh? I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. What the fuck? Monica. Oh wait, is it normal that I'm not understanding this? What's the thing between Monica and Squid? Eh? That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Okay. <laughs> ah, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri or Sayuri's anyway. Excuse me. Where is Sayuri anyway? Oh no, don't tell me Sari didn't come because we told her we would like to go home with Yuri. No, I feel so bad. Oh, there you are. Sari is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Oh no, she's depressed because we told her we would like to go home with, Sa with Yuri. Oh, I feel so bad. I want to go back and tell her I want to go home with her now. No. Come on, Sayuri, please. 
Hey, Sayuri! I wave my hand in front of her face. You're spacing out again. Ah, ah. <laughs> Sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything alright? Oh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. See, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sari shows me a big smile. Uh, yeah, that's a fake smile, actually. Don't let me distract you from where you're having fun with everyone. Well, alright. If you say so. I worriedly glance at Sayuri before turning back toward everyone else. But the conversation has already dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayuri recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Monica, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but... Have you noticed anything up with Sayuri recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Well, you know the way. You know the way, Monica. Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayuri, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down at her desk. Oh my god! Maybe there is something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Baka. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really like this. She's always talking to me about things that bothered her. But this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know. Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. E, are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just had a hard time bringing it up with the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Baka. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but... Sorry talks about you more than anything else, you know. E? She's been so much happier ever since you've joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sari is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it always has been. <laughs> You're so funny, Baka. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you? What? Ah, I said too much. I'm sorry, what do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so we should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Ah, alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sari is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sari and gently talk to her. But she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sari told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else. But that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh me so down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Suddenly, I notice Yuri peering at me over, from over her book. Oh, she wants to read. But she looks away just as quickly with a flustered look on her face. I realize that she won't get anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord. So I have no choice but to approach her myself. By now, it's a little easier for me to do that. I stand up from my desk and sit in one next to her own. I didn't 
mean to bother you or anything. Relax, you didn't even do anything. But I could tell that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? How are we even able to tell that I was thinking like that? Well, it's something that I do a lot. So it wasn't hard for me to spot based on her posture and expression. N not that I was starting staring or anything. I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles are only the concern of those who willingly share in that concern. Of course, there are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping it to, them to themselves. But if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. Ah, it's really not that big of a deal. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sairi. Sairi? Yeah, she seems a little off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh, that's quite romantic. E? S sorry I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that. I just didn't want you to misunderstand. Sorry and I have just been friends for a long time, that's all. Yeah, you basically friendzoned her. That's everything. Ah, I see. Then perhaps it is unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Or maybe I'm just reading into it a little too much. Baka! The world is full of meaning often hidden deep in its plain sight. And there are many untold mysteries behind every per person, no matter how well you may know them. Ah, so you think that there might be something behind it after all? Hmm, I think that Sari is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what may be going on inside her head. And she may not always know what she wants. I noticed her strange behavior today too, and I also feel some concern for her. But in your case, it looked like she was fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? Well, I guess that was the case. Sayuri, she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Ah, uh, I guess. But you don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Sometimes, a person's mysteries are untold even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you weren't aware were in you. Th that is, I think that she would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy. So I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. Well, now I don't understand if I'm going for Yuri or for Sayuri. So... Ah, uh, uh, that's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is. Anyway, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well, as long as you're okay with it. Yeah. I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyway. Why don't we go ahead and get started? Yes, let's. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make something first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf that comes with a filter inside. Okay, they're alone. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in the teacher's desk and then we'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Ah, uh, I might as well walk with you. Yeah, why not? Shall, Shall we go then? Yeah. Hmm? Where are you two off to? Eh? We're just... 
Yuri was going to make some tea, so I suddenly realized how weird it sounds to explain this to Monica. We're just filling the water pitcher. Ah, okay. Sorry, I was just a bit curious. That's kind of a one-person job, isn't it? That's... Monica, please mind your own business for once. Oh. oh! Or do you want to tell me there's something wrong with helping in Volpac in a club activities? Uh, eh? My mouth gapes. I... I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. Hmm. Then let's go, Baka. Uh... Yuri quickly exits the room and I follow. Oh, we're alone, we're alone. Once in the hallway, she suddenly puts her forehead against the wall. I spoke without thinking. How could I say something like that? Yuri. I just... Something about the way she said that. It made me feel so irritated. What's wrong with me? No, Yuri. I think you did the right thing. I wasn't expecting it, but it's also not right for Monica to judge people like that. Baka, how come even when I do something bad, you're being nice to me? Okay, something's gonna happen. Because nothing that you do is a, as bad as you make it seem in your head. Nobody's perfect. We have emotions and we can always hide them away. But you always amplify things in your head. Your mind turns a light rain shower into a hurricane. Whoa. Ah, N no. Wouldn't you hate me for something as terrible as that? Why would I hate you? I can't hate someone for having emotions. What kind of friend would do that? Friend, you say? Uh, um. Oh, we're friend zoning all of them. <laughs> Holy shit. First Sayari, now Yuri. Yuri lifts her head. Baka, I really like being friends with you. Ah. Thanks, Yuri. I like being friends with you too. I feel kind of awkward saying something like that. But I'm doing my best to help Yuri feel better. Anyway. Ah, uh, yeah. Shall we go? Yeah. You and I walk to the nearest water fountain. Once we fill up the water pitcher, we return to the classroom. Okay, nothing happened. Too bad. Baka, do you like oolong tea? I don't even know what it is. Ah, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. You recess the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. <laughs> In that case, I'll only be even more impressed. Ah, uh, perhaps I will. You refetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea level leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed, I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do, when it's you who's around anyway. Ah, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Baka. Wait, those are Sayari's words. It's very endearing. endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri power a cup of tea for each of us. Baka, I have another request. Do you mind if you sit on the floor today? Eh? Why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. Sure, let's do it on the floor. The reading, of course. I can read with my back against the ball rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. At such a young age, Yuri, didn't expect this from you. Is that so? I wonder why that is. 
It's most likely because my... Ah! M my... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading. Yes. I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieve the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies that I kept hidden from Cyrus Candy Radar. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I then sit against the wall teacups at our sides. As if in sync we assume the same reading position at la as last time each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. Oh yes. I can't see you too well. Yuri slides closer until all our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but... When she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Well, touch it. No problem. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally managed to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumbled with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Yes, Yuri, take as much as you want. Ah, that's... That's okay, I won't take any. No, come on, Yuri, take all of it. Eh, are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the page. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Oh, we got Yuri. Look at that mouth. Look at that nose. Look at those eyes. So kawaii. I can't. No, I can't. This is too good. Okay. Let's continue. R Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Okay. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate, and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. Yeah, you just have to put it in her mouth. She simply parts her lips as, she, as if this situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. Oh, she, ha she has it in her mouth now. Oh, oh my god. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. <laughs> what the fuck is that game? <laughs> Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Them eyes. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Uh, um... Baka! <laughs> Sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Ah, uh, that's... Well... Y you were just helping. That's something that friends do, right? I mean, not really in this kind of context, context, but yeah, that's all it was. Yeah, then you don't need to stop or anything. Uh, I see. The situation has gotten really tense. Yuri tries to return to the book. But I can tell just by her expression that she even can't focus now. My heart is pounding. I nervously take another chocolate between my fingers. But this time Yuri's eyes meet mine. 
How did it even come to this? Yuri doesn't avert her gaze. I noticed her chest rising and falling to the rhythm of her breath. Of her breath. I, ri I raise my arm. Ah! Like before, Yuri parts her lips. But it's different this time. I take the chocolate and place it in her mouth. I feel her hot breath on my fingers. Monica, holy shit, Monica always does this. Fuck you, Monica. Okay, everyone. Uh, what? Ah! Yuri jolts back. It's time to chirp bombs. Boka, you can help Yuri put away the tea stuff, uh, right? Y yeah, of course. Okay, thanks. The spell is abruptly broken. Monica, fuck off! Monica! Seriously? I'll... I'll take care of the cups. Yeah. Yuri picks up the teacups from the floor. I pick up the bag of chocolates. In the end, we hastily clean up without so much as a word between us. I get the feeling this is something neither of us will have the courage to bring up. Wait, but where is Sayuri? I'm so worried about her. Yeah, I wanna check uh, Sayuri. Come on, Sayuri. Tell me you're back to normal. Hmm. It's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you're ready for someone else, didn't you? No, Sayuri, come on. Now I wanna restart the game over again and go for Sayuri root. This is so sad, oh no, come on. Probably Yuri. E? I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. That's not really what I meant, so. But it's okay. You're making a new friend just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. And you're happy to write in this club. Well, of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Baka. Sayuri, is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Alright. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else now. If you insist. Yay! I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sayuri? Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayuri cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. No, come on, Sayuri. Sayuri, come on. Why do you do this? Okay. Who's next? We didn't even read her poem. What the fuck? Okay, let's go for... Let's leave uh, Yuri last. Let's go for Natsuki. Yeah, no thanks. Eh? You didn't even... I don't believe this. What's happening? Let's go for Monica. Hi, Baka. Have you thought about what you want to summon to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people... I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at today's palm. Sure. I let Monica take the palm I'm holding in my hands. This one's good. It feels like you're not only getting more comfortable with your style, but the imagery is better than the last one I read. Just wondering, but have you been finding inspiration in Yuri's writing style? Hmm. I guess so. You can't deny that she's talented. Yeah, totally. I think her bombs are the most... romantic. That's the best way to describe it. 
She's like a totally different person, person when she picks up a pen. I noticed that too. Uh, when she's talking about literature, it's like a light turns on inside her. Mm -hmm. Sadly, it's hard to get much personal conversation out of her. Trust me, I've tried. Who knows what goes on in that head of her? I hope you don't mean that in a bad way. No, of course not. I just meant that I wish she didn't keep so much to herself. But still, defending her like that. You must be pretty into her. Eek? You completely misunderstood. Ahaha, <laughs> calm down, I'm kidding. Besides, I'm pretty sure she's already got a boyfriend. Wait, really? Yeah, a fictional one, anyway. Monica kind of whispered that last part to me. It's just a hunch, but... Well, there's not really anything wrong with that. Oh, well, I know. I was just saying. Anyway, I'll share my palm with you now, alright? Uh, alright. Oh, she's doing that uh, blank thing again. Leaving some space. Okay, let's read it. The lady who knows everything and all tale tales of a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything, a beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather, lost adrift the sky, victim of currents of the wind. Day after day I search, I search with little hope, knowing legends won't not exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains, the last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky. Until one day, the wind ceases to blow, I fall, and I fall and fall and fall even more. Gentle as a feather, a, a dry gale, expressionless, but the hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady, I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I'm thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice, I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose. As we seek only the impossible, I am not your legend, your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. Okay, why not? You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are the source of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything. But it is kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put that much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if you had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. Ahaha, <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay... We wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creators. I think you'd know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Ah, yeah, that. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Okay, last time it was don't forget to save your game. What's it now? Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? Okay, it's not anything creepy. It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way and it will take, it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, last but not least, we got Yuri. Look at that smile. Baka, your writing has only improved in these last few days. Every poem you've shown me has been nothing short of spectacular. I can really feel the emotions. I'm a little envious even. I don't think it ever came to me this naturally. Yuri, that's the wrong way to put it. 
this never did come naturally to me, but I've been able to improve so much thanks to you. You're really the example I was chasing after. It, is that so? Yuri gently smiles to herself. This feeling, I'm so glad I got the chance to share my writing. I never thought it would feel like this. I remember you. I remember you mentioning that yesterday. I can't believe that you're so good at something and you've never even shared it with anyone. It's kind of a chain. Maybe, but it's not like I really had a choice. What do you mean? Well, Yuri smiles sadly. Baka, during lunchtime, I eat by myself. Did you know that? It's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. In fact, I always have some books with me. You could say I really enjoy reading. Well, that's one way to put it anyway. But books are so full of amazing and inspiring people. People you want to fall in love with. Or people you just know would make a really good friend. Cheerful people who always put a smile on your face. Or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life. So when you look at it that way, I'm surrounded by friends every day, you know, and those friends don't laugh at me. They don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type. And they don't hate me for acting like a know-it-all. People say that about you? I'm not a know-it-all, Baka. It's the opposite. I don't know anything. I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. I don't even know how to make myself happy. I have all these feelings. And all I can do with them is read and write. But it wasn't until now that I started sharing it with you that I really understood what was missing all this time. But I haven't really done anything. No, that's wrong. Just being patient and respectful. That's really important to me. I know I'm a difficult person, Baka. I speak too slowly. I second guess myself all the time. I read too deeply into things. But every time, you've always treated me just like anyone else. It's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. But that's why every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy. I see. Well, I treat you how you deserve to be treated, Yuri. And if other people don't see it that way, then screw them. I mean, I joined this club hoping I would make friends. And I would say I've had at least one success. Wouldn't you? Uh, um, if you put it that way, yeah. We really are friends now, aren't we? Yes. Yuri puts her head in her hands. But this time she's smiling as she does it. Do you want to show me your palm? Yeah, I do. Let me get it for you. Okay. Beach, a marvel millions of years in the making, where the womb of Earth goes. What's this world? Okay, chastically meets the surface under a clear blue sky, an expanse of bliss, but beneath gray sailing clouds an endless enigma the easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found one can only build a sand castle where the sand is wet but where the sand is wet the tide comes well it gently lick at the what the fuck well it gently lick at your foundations until you give in or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye Either way, the outcome is the same, yet we still build sand castles. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles, where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic, the breeze is gentle yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate bound dairy line, tempted by the foamy tendrils. What turn back, and I abandon my peace to erode all at the shore. Drift forward and I return to the earth forevermore. Okay, she's going to explain it, probably. Um, I'm aware that the beach is kind of an in inane thing to write about. 
but I did my best to take a metaphorical approach to it. You say that like you didn't even want to write about it. Oh, you haven't heard. After yesterday, Natsuki and I, well, it was amusing that we wrote about something similar in such different ways. So, Natsuki wanted us to write about the same topic as each other again. I see. Natsuki didn't even let me read her palm, so I don't have much to contribute. I suppose to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes. Okay, better thought processes, I guess. Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she'd want to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request. But, well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know. It's good for me to call my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. Okay. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing palms, right? Why don't we start figuring out? Hold on a second! Is it just me or did you say something strange just now? Eh? Something sounded a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. Catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez! Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh, stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing, thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Ah, uh, it seems you're right. Hmm. Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off at little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to, anyway? I thought she just went to pee. That's okay, this shows some decency. Oh, come on! Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, have you picked the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey! Ah, uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Huh? That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so... Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them in different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sari will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri... Yuri, you can... Uh, um... Hmm? Guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I... Uh, I'm useless. <coughs> no! That's not it at all! You're the most talented person here, you know? Mm. No, Natsuki is powering too. Geez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sari enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Ah, that may be the case. But if I can't also be a leader on my own, they want to grow as a person. So, Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know. So we should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that. I... I love atmosphere. Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk and focuses and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great! You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, let's just leave you, Paka. The one who is truly useless. 
Ah ha ha, don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. It would be really appreciative of that. Uh, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give to you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Tsundere Natsuki. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Baka may not like to be around if you only make him thought to be a nuisance. So, therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that! How hard would it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just taking excuses for Mac for Baka to. Oh. What are you saying? It will be extremely meticulous work. And waiting isn't. Just what do you think? Guys, guys! <laughs> Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Baka to decide how we'd like to contribute. Besides. He hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said... Uh, a surprise as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez! Can you just sell this already? Yeah. Baka, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Ah, uh, of course. <coughs> Very well. In that case... Everyone looks straight uh, at me. Um, I kinda wanna go for Sayuri. But... I wanna get Yuri... Um, hard choice. This is the hardest so uh, choice of my life. This is the hardest choice of my entire life. Like seriously. I wanna get Waifu Yuri. But I wanna go for Sayuri too. Yeah, remember Monica's tip of the day? Always save. Oh wait, not that one. Because maybe I'll go back to that one to tell her I wanna go home with her. Maybe. Okay, so for who should I go? I kinda feel bad for Sayuri. But if we say sorry, Mon uh, Yuri will dislike us. Holy shit, this is so hard. Hardest choice of my life. Oh my. And look, at, like, Sayuri, three points. Yuri, one point. Monica, one point. Only Sayuri is three points. Oh my god. Well. I said for this let's play we're going to do full Yuri. So later we'll retry the game after we finish it. And we'll play mods and uh, we'll try to get all the endings. So let's go full Yuri for this uh, let's play. Well, I'll probably be most useful helping out Yuri. Mm. Me? Are you serious? Why would you? That's okay. I can already tell you're about to say something mean. No! I was just saying... Uh. So you'll be helping Yuri then, Baka? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things. So I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to end the baking yourself? I mean, yeah! I already said I would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. So, is that everything we need to go over? Yeah. Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited might not be the right word. But I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Baka? Me? 
Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Hmm. Natsuki. What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. N no. That's not what I meant at all. Uh, uh. Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. Uh, I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why why Baka picked me. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... So... I get it! I get it! I'm kind of surprised, though. So. Why? Um... Well, I'm the one acting in major. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. Uh, I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken back, uh, back by Yuri's worst words. When she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayuri. Even if it didn't work so perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayuri would say at a time like this. Because Sayuri always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No! I kinda appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm going to say this. Hmm? You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be best part of the whole event uh, I believe you yeah I hope to see everyone do their best but with that there's nothing more for today so I guess it's time for us to head out all right let's go out of here then everyone packs up their things I start to follow Monica and Natsuki out the door as they chat between each other uh, um eh hey? I turn around Sorry, I realized that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? I think that would be the best way, yes. Alright then, you and I exchange phone numbers. Okay, then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Eh? My house? Hey, is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought that I would be the one going to her house since I'm the one helping you. Ah, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. Alright. In that case, it won't be a problem. Okay. Got him. Got him. I decide not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like it should matter much either way, so I just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I managed to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Baka. I think that will make a very productive team. Even if you only choose me because you felt bad or something. Wait, you don't actually think that, do you? I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. But, but... Yuri thinks to herself with his an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when, what you, when you're overthinking, right? Eh? I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I... I'm telling you, I want to... That's all there... It, that's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Sunday fun day. Yeah, I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out the door and Yuri follows. Phew, we're finally home. I can't believe this. Yuri is going to be coming to my house on Sunday. My anxiety shoots through the roof. Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. 
There is no telling what might end up happening when we're outside of school. More than that, she told me that she was looking forward to it. Is this a chance I have to make something happen between us? Or is it too early for that? Only time will tell. But until then, I won't be able to take my mind off it. I seriously can't wait. Wait... Why didn't you speak of Sayuri? What the fuck? It's already Sunday? Okie dokie... Okie dokie dokie... It's already Sunday, I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. Wait, so shouldn't we stop here? It's already Sunday, so we're probably going to meet Yuri now. So we'll probably finish the club activities. So yeah, we should probably stop here for today. So maybe something is going to happen with Yuri. Some Yuri with Yuri. Well, actually not Yuri with Yuri, but anyway. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you didn't, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe, and see you soon other videos, bye!